Hi, I'm Linda Schwab Messmer, Senior Coding Consultant with the Haugen Consulting Group. Coding tip improvements in fiscal year 2017 for ICD-10 CM coding of substance abuse. In fiscal year 2017, coders will breathe a sigh of relief in uh, some aspects of substance abuse coding. As we know, the coder's job is to translate terminology that the physicians use in their documentation in the medical record into ICD-10 terminology, which is not always easy, especially in this substance abuse area. What we tend to see in the physician's documentation is use of DSM-5 terminology, which is correct and is most up-to-date and what they should be using. However, it doesn't match with what we need to translate into codes. What they will be using in DSM-5 is things like opioid use disorder, mild, moderate, or severe. We won't see that in our, um, in our past coding. Uh, we won't see that in the ICD-10 description. However, as of fiscal year 2017, we will see a change in that. We will be able to translate the doctor's terminology of mild, moderate, and severe use into the terms abuse or dependence, that, which is what we need to see for our codes. If you see the terms opioid use disorder mild, that in the documentation in the medical record, now we will be able to look that up in the index and see that that actually translates into the ICD-10 code for opioid abuse. On the other hand, if they call the use disorder mo moderate or severe, that will translate into dependence. Now we won't have to worry so much whether we are interpreting that doctor's description of their substance abuse correctly. We won't have to stop and query them to make absolutely sure that, that we are coding what they mean. This is really a big improvement and brings ICD-10 up to date with DSM-5 terminology.